Should I order for takeout? I've been waiting all my life for something. I've been down the darkest roads and up in the clouds. But I've always felt that something's missing. That was until I found you right there. Every time we go to the shop, we get pizza. But one, I love pizza. Two, it's like nearby and it's easy and we don't need like plates and stuff. It feeds everybody. Anyways, what's up guys? We are heading into Mountain Made Vans. We're going to check on some of the progress of some of the vans. We've got some exciting stuff happening there. We're gonna take you guys and show you what's going on. So one thing that's really cool is you guys have seen these hats. You guys haven't seen the shirts. And we've got hats and shirts for Bryce and Matt. What's up, guys? What up with all of you? How's all it going? T-shirts. Look at those things. Schlagen pizza. Schlagen pizza. What do you think? It's hot up there. It looks great. Yeah. Are they golf hats? <laughs> they look like it, right? <laughs> yeah. It looks awesome. good. Come on, here comes a couple sizes. So we decided we just needed like some clothing to represent the brand and to like wear around and like be proud of Mountain Made Vans. This isn't for sale. We don't have like a huge quantity made, but we wanted to give Matt and Bryce some cool stuff to wear and. Hopefully you guys like the design. It's the first iteration of many, I'm sure. How was Alaska? Eh. What? <laughs> I've seen cooler. What? Really? <laughs> yeah, it was wet. But really? Like it. Yeah. Oh. Rained a lot. Yeah, Utah's cooler. We thought maybe small, but we just... Small, we didn't... just fuck small. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a small. <laughs> that's like for the... Uh, that's While we're here today, we're getting a really exciting tour of all the progress that's been made on this 170 Sprinter. It's almost done. We had like a three month internal timeline, like a goal for ourselves to get it fully completed in about three months. And we're gonna hit that goal. It's actually looking unbelievable. I cannot wait to show you guys inside. Warm up here. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> yeah. It's funny, it's like 50 degrees at our house now in the mornings. It's like, you can tell fall is in the air, but down here in the valley, it's 97 degrees today. And Trent is in long pants. And uh, up here, it's like another 15 degrees as soon as you get up on top to install solar panels on the roof. These guys are major troopers. <laughs> There. I know you. Oh, are you ready to come out? Little quick sneak peek behind the scenes tour of the progress on the inside of this van. I don't know if you guys are interested, but it's actually looking unbelievable. If you want to just step on in and follow me. The floor is in, the cabinets are in, the uppers are in. They're just finishing some very meticulous and well-labeled wiring. Highly, highly appreciative of all that labeling. <laughs> this is gonna be so legit. You guys, this is looking so good. There's gonna be a table here with bench seats and a happy jack system. So two beds, a secondary uh, bench seat. So there's four seat belts places for four people to eat, for four people to sleep, or more, I guess. If you're a big family, you could just all pile on in here. Basically like the biggest problem with living in a van is that there's two seats up front and that's it. So in order to have like, you know, kids or friends or anything in the van more than just you and your, your partner in crime or your partner is uh, you need extra seating. You need places for them to sleep. You need places for them to eat. So with this van, we're really trying to solve all of those problems so that you can have at least four people ride in here safely with seat belts, and then you can sleep four people. And then there's a place for at least four people to sit down and eat. You could probably fit six people back there in that bench, but 
it's uh it's really coming along i think they're probably going to have this van done i would say within the next couple weeks we're really excited to see this thing finished up it's going to be really nice too because there's no propane at all so there's heat um and there's cooking but there's no propane which is kind of cool and there's air conditioning so you can basically take this thing anywhere it's super capable you've got a kitchen you've got a toilet you've got an outdoor shower to rinse off after you're done at the beach or wherever mountain biking and uh just like tons of storage as well. So we're pretty stoked to get this van out of the shop and then start on the four by four. That's gonna be coming here pretty soon. And uh, we might have some other things in store for one or both of these vans. I haven't figured it out yet. We are wrapping up things here at the shop. Everybody's actually taken off for the day. And when we leave, we know that this place is safe because of Simply Safe. And Simply Safe is the sponsor of today's video. A few months ago, I installed the Simply Safe system here, and the setup is so simple and easy. You basically just get all of these different types of sensors and alarms and all types of stuff that come in one box. They ship it directly to your door. And the best part is that you can set it up all on your own. There's no need to have a technician come to your house or any type of service appointment. And just like that, we have 60 seconds to get outside, close all of the doors, and we know that this place is gonna be monitored, safe, and secure. And if we ever have any concerns, we can always pull up the camera that's located here in the shop and check what's going on. So this right here is the camera that's attached to the system. So we can actually remote access this from anywhere where we have internet service. There's motion sensors, there's window sensors, there's a glass break sensor, there's door sensors. There's even a leak detection sensor. So if you have a leak or a flood happening, Simply Safe will let you know. You can click our link in the description or go to simplysafe.com slash Trent and Allie. You get 20% off and your first month free when you sign up for interactive monitoring. There is no safe like Simply Safe. Wanted to say thanks again to Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video. Now we are gonna hit the road and we'll see you guys in a few. Now we have some nice morning shade. Over there. <laughs> Those umbrellas are almost useless for about three quarters of the day. <laughs> Leo is super mobile, super chatty. He's saying mama and dada, uh, mostly as a noise. I don't think he actually knows that they mean a human nearby, but he's making lots of noises, lots of consonants. And his favorite thing in the entire world is the dog water. Whether it was flat on the ground or raised up, I don't think it would matter. He is obsessed with crawling up, standing on it and splashing his hands in it. And uh, it's perfectly Leo sized. It's very hard to tell him to stop doing that. Yeah, I love water. <laughs> I love the water. Hi. Yes, I love the water. <laughs> yeah, is it really? You love the water? Yeah, you love banging your head onto things too. Look at that little there you bruise. Go. Little goose egg hit himself with mom's water bottle yesterday. <laughs> the pediatrician the other day was like, oh, he's mobile. And I was like, what do you mean? She was like, well, I can always tell when a baby is crawling or moving around when they have a couple little bruises all over their head. It's like, okay, good, good to know because uh, Leo is enjoying getting into everything. <laughs> Sheathing cut to the right size. Brandon's gonna grab our little giant ladder and stand it up here, and then he's gonna hand it up to me. We're gonna get it nailed on. Basically, just gonna start by doing this full second row, and then start doing our third row, and then things are gonna get a little sketchy. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what has to happen, unfortunately.
we really don't need to make this a garage. We could get some horses and make some horse stalls and maybe a goat pen and a little heated chicken area for the winter and just have, you know, old McDonald's farm. We're already building it. Yeah, go find us some Siberian horses that can survive up here and we'll think about it. Is it real? Yeah. Can you say hi? How are you feeling? Feeling pretty good. Yeah? We're doing the easy part right now, so <laughs> ask me in a couple sheets how I'm feeling. Do you have a plan for up there? Yeah, we're just gonna walk the sheets up the ladder. Same thing we did on the far gable end of the house, which is like not a lot of fun, but really the only way we can do it. Sketchy. I'm not gonna get a man lift just to like put up a couple sheets. Yeah. Because we don't really need it again for a long time, so. That's okay. <laughs> Possibly the very best news of the day is that Dana actually left to go do another job. She ended up not loving it and has decided to come back and help us out. And we are so excited to have her back. How are you? Hey, it's good to see you. <laughs> do you remember Dana? Yay! Oh my God, he's big. Isn't he? <laughs> and he's crawling and standing up and trying to walk and what? eating. He's crazy now, yeah. Wow, Leo! <laughs> Leo! Yay! <laughs> yeah, come on in. Yay! Yeah, you know her. <laughs> I'm so excited Dana is back. She's somebody that we trust. Leo already knows her. She knows what she's doing. She's really wonderful with him and uh, it really helps us out so that we can focus on work and I don't have to be, you know, multitasking as much. I can, I could be a little bit more productive with my day and know that he is still very well taken care of. She's given him a bottle and putting him down for a nap right now, which means that I get to go inside the casita, hang out in the garage mahal and help out a little bit. This is really sketchy. It is. <laughs> Come on, Allie, you can do it. It is a little bit of a steep ladder, but at least there's mud behind you, so if you fall, you won't get like Actually, destroyed. There's no handholds. There's not, yeah. It's like a mantle, it's like a boulder problem. You just gotta put both hands up there, focus on going forward. Look at me. Very there you stretchy. go. There you go. You! <laughs> wow, it looks good up here. Yeah, it's a nice little base. I'm so. Happy to have Dana back. Yeah, me too. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. Cool, what can I do? Put me to work. Brandon, how does it feel out there? Because it feels like fall up here in the shade. Feels good right here. Really? Where am I? Oh, <laughs> it sounded like you were over here behind me. That was weird. I don't know if that's just because it's rained a lot recently and so it's kind of like a little bit cooler or if this is the change in seasons and we're starting to feel a little bit of fall, but it feels amazing. Better not be fall. We still got to excavate and do the foundations for these additions before it starts snowing. Maybe and fall, a long fall. Well, fall here means snow. That's... <laughs> Unfortunately, that's what happens up here. Yeah, but it also means Leo's first Halloween and apple spice and pumpkin lattes. Gross. Gross. <laughs> sounds, sounds pretty gross. <laughs> really weird because Trent's favorite cookies are pumpkin chocolate chip, but he hates pumpkin pie, which to me does not make any sense. Very different. They're pretty much very the same. Different. Very different. How are they different? Uh, pumpkin pie tastes like crap, and pumpkin <laughs> chocolate chip cookies are delicious. <laughs> okay. That's how they're different. <laughs> yeah, we're just double checking. To, we cut that last time and it was wrong. Mm -hmm. So we have to cut a 40 degree angle, which mm -hmm. 40 is really easy to mix up with 50 mm -hmm. because it's just on the other side of 45. 
depending on whether you're measuring off of zero or you're measuring off of 90, it either needs to be 40 or 50. Mm. So it's like really easy to kind of mix it up. Like if it was a 20 degree angle, it would either be like, oh, that looks like a roof or, oh, that's straight up in the air. But like at 45 degrees mm -hmm. is easy. And then 40 or 50 get mixed up mm -hmm. really, really easily. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty sure that's 40. It was cut at 50. 45 would be probably somewhere right here in the middle. It just looks like a huge drastic difference because it's like span across four feet. So anyway, I'm pretty sure that this is right. <laughs> okay. What'd you say? I was just doing some redneck. Double checking. Did you see your eyeball in it? Well, I eyeballed that. I eyeballed my height. double check height <laughs> and my distance. I didn't have a level, so. Brandon's all like, we don't do any guessing around here. I wasn't guessing. <laughs> eyeballing, that's that was, the difference. That was double checking. Guessing is where you're eyeballing on the first go. <laughs> So they're a little bit too tall now uh, to use a ladder. So they're both on the inside trying to figure out how to nail this sheet in place. I'm very interested to see how this is going to work. They are winging it, as we say. Right angle, wrong breaking point. Yeah, so the issue that we have is we have our wall below that was like 16 inches on center and then we have our wall up here that's 16 inches on center and it mostly matches up but it doesn't really match up with the end of that wall or the truss mm. braces mm -hmm. and so rather than just like letting this sheet break on nothing which yeah. we can't do we have to cut it so that it breaks on the previous stud and then we'll cut the next sheet so it breaks on the stud evenly and then they should all why not <laughs> because we have to stagger the seams too, so. Mm -hmm, yeah. It's just a lot of technical stuff. You know, most people don't understand it. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Take two. Looking good. How the heck are you guys going to nail the sheet that's all the way in the corner? A ladder. A ladder? Ay, ay, ay. The Amish build entire houses with just ladders. All right. Oh, that's a good girl. Yeah. How's it going? Uh, it's going pretty good. In uh, light of all this pumpkin talk, I brought you some pumpkin cookies. Those look mighty fine. Right now. <laughs> you want me to throw them? No way. Sure. They're going to open and spill everywhere. Well, just. Maybe put the camera down. Okay. Good throw. You threw these delicious cookies up here to me and you didn't even save one for yourself. I know, I forgot. Can you throw me one? Can I catch it one handed? Doubt it. Wow. What faith you have. All right, let's. Ready? Yeah. Huh. Look at wow. that. Look at that. I'm impressed. Of course. Actually. <laughs> Especially over the mud. I was like, this is a bad idea. <laughs> I would have eaten it anyway. You pulled through. <laughs> Thank you. Kids, don't try this at home. This is uh, probably one of the sketchiest pieces that we have to put up. It's all the way over there where I can't really reach it or nail it or do anything. Brandon's gonna have to carry it up the ladder, get it in place, stand it up where I can like barely hold a piece of it and then he's gonna have to get the gun out <sighs> and nail her on. That's too slow. Maybe it works. Maybe it doesn't. Walk this up until I have that, and then you can nail it. All right. Like a barn. It's 
massive. It's massive and it looks like it needs some animals. Just throwing that out there. Noah's Ark? Noah's Ark. I think it needs some animals? Is yeah, what yeah. This is actually a boat. <laughs> we're gonna flip it over when we're done. Yeah. <laughs> You guys are having way too much fun blasting country music, dancing, singing, and uh, almost done basically uh, sheathing that first wall. Pretty cool. difficult parts um, we already did some of the pretty darn hard parts and we did pretty good I'm like really impressed because one this is 5 8 sheathing so it's really heavy and two we're on these two ladders this one may as well be a trampoline and uh, just trying to like tandem that piece up here was pretty difficult but we got it in it's all nailed down everything's good we have basically two more pieces up top and this piece right here so Brandon's cutting this piece right now and then uh, Hopefully we got enough scrap pieces to make those two pieces that go up top. A little, little, uh, little nerve-wracking. I don't want to have to go buy more sheathing for one piece. We got this. This is the last one, yeah? Uh, well, we got a little triangle piece to put okay. in after this one. The last big one. Yes. Yeah. Alright, start climbing the spaghetti noodle. Front wall. Whoa! I wish I could show you how much this ladder. This thing is a trampoline. Goes back and forth when you go up and down it. Yeah, it's pretty sketchy. Oh, I can feel it doing that. Yeah. <laughs> now, now we get to move to the back, and the back is like there's about six feet less drop. Nice. Good job. It looks amazing. <laughs> Welcome to my lair. Anyway, we have uh, tried to make a little bit more progress today. We did get that full wall sheathed, which is a great amount of progress. I could stop there and be happy, but we are gonna start trying to knock out framing this back wall. It has one door in it, it has one window, and yes, we have plans. Are we gonna follow them like 100%? No, Never. so we, are trying to figure out right now where exactly we want that window and the door and the kitchenette that's gonna go in here. So it's gonna be a little bit of brainstorming and then we're gonna lay this out. I don't want to. You don't want to? I don't like those. Really? Yeah. They're good. They're not. 
They like they look like they're good, and then you eat them, and after like the second one, you're like, these are gross. I, I don't like them. They're these weird. Brandon, ah. can you catch this in your mouth? Gummy stars. You take your. Ready? I think so. <laughs> oh, oh so dang. close! Gosh, you made me fall over backwards. Not, not my tooth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Soon you'll turn into a beautiful butterfly. But oh. until then, you're just gonna scare Ali. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's just a cute little you caterpillar. Just up. take him and go put him in the windowsill. You picked him up, you put him down. Look at him. He's Yeah, he's adorable. I don't really want to touch him. He's got a cute tail and little antlers. <laughs> little antennae. Give him a kiss. Trent? He might turn into a prince. I'm gonna kick you in the face. <laughs> here on this side mm -hmm. and then here we'll probably end up tiling like a big entryway so that you can come in with muddy boots and whatever and like have a little shoe rack okay. or something and then inside the like truss area we'll have like a door whether it's like a slider or like an actual door mm. and this will be like a coat closet okay built like framed out inside here instead of just wasting that space we'll use it as a coat closet mm -hmm. and then from the coat closet like seven feet this way will be like a little cooktop and a coffee maker and a sink and a fridge like a little kitchenette zone do they get a dishwasher no <laughs> absolutely not do they get an oven no okay <laughs> the majority of the time these are like our friends and family so if they want to eat they better be coming in to eat with us yeah, exactly. um, but also if this is like for some reason we rent it out to somebody or something um it's like a hotel room. You don't have to like have full kitchen, but like right. a little bit of a kitchen is plenty. Yeah, I think a cooktop, coffee maker, sink, microwave. regular sized fridge. And a microwave, and that's it. And a that's microwave, I think, I think it's fine. Okay, cool. And then the bathroom is gonna be over there. And then I still don't really know, there's either gonna need to be like a utility closet right here, mm. or I'm gonna try and put it in the like wall. Like the water heater and the furnace inside the attic space. Cool, let's try that. I gotta talk to Dean about that because I know there's like code with like space around the units that you have to be able to have in yeah. order to work on them. Okay. And so hmm. we'll have to see what that looks like. Okay, cool. It doesn't have to be huge. It's a really small living space. So you have a small furnace and a small water heater. And... They all take up about the same amount of space. Mm, okay. And it's not really the unit themselves that are like the problem. It's the like, you need three feet in front of it. Yeah. Or... Cool. Um, it's going to be cute. looks good. husband on his best behavior and like super smiley and fun and I was like are you sure we're talking about the same baby he's been, <laughs> he's been a little fussy for us recently he must have really missed you I think so yeah we cannot tell you guys how grateful we are that Dana is back to help us because we were struggling so bad when she left but 
It's nice, we're all back together again. We're all having a nice, easy work day. Leo's happy, everybody's happy. It's been a good day. All right, guys, it has been quite a day. I'm really glad that we got the front of the garage completely sheathed. It is starting to take shape and it actually looks mostly the way it's going to look. Well, I mean, kind of. Yeah, and I know I've said this multiple times already, but I just feel already so grateful that Dana is back. We were able to shower and like be so much more intentional of parents tonight because we had a little reprieve today and uh, Thank you, Dana, seriously. <laughs> yeah, we're super grateful for her. Yeah. If you guys enjoyed coming along on this adventure, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks again to Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in our description to check them out. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. Adios.